Hi guys and girls, this is Anna from Behringer and today I'm going to run you through the latest update to Flow 8 Digital Mixer. We've been blown away by the responses and feedback since we launched Flow 8 towards the end of last year. And this first update incorporates the most common feature requests that we received from you guys. We've added many powerful features and capabilities that make Flow 8 the perfect portable mixer for podcasters and gaming streamers, as well as adding pro-level audio controls. So stay tuned to find out what's new. Flow 8 now has two new USB modes. Each mode has suitable features for either streaming or recording. In streaming mode, the signal being sent out to the computer is simply the main stereo output mix controlled by the master fader of the mixer. This way, you can listen to the USB stream on the monitor outputs. Perfect for mixing all your input sources for podcast or gaming and sending the master mix to the web. In recording mode, the mixer turns into a useful multi-track recording device, allowing all inputs to be recorded pre-fader as well as the main mix. With multi-track recording, you can then use your DAW to make post-production changes and bring the master back to your monitor speakers via the mixer. This update also gives you new USB playback and general routing options. Whereas previously the Flow 8 only had stereo playback, you can now use four USB playback channels. USB 1 and 2 and USB 3 and 4 can be routed into channels 5 and 6 or 7 and 8, or directly to the monitor send outputs 1 and 2 for reference. Additionally, the monitor 1 and 2 can be stereo linked, and the headphone outputs can either playback pre and post fader main mix, or monitor 1 and 2. Last but not least, the FX can now also be sent to the monitor bus. This means that whether you are in streaming or in recording mode, you have the increased flexibility to do things like send in game audio and background music separately with immediate access to both signals, send a click track separately to the mixer, giving you instant control of your artist mix and the studio mix at your fingertips. Oh, and for those of you that like to fine-tune your sound, Flow 8 now includes parametric EQ for all channels as well as main and monitor buses. The new snapshot scope feature enables you to recall things like processing, effects and routing individually. This gives you loads of time-saving uses for both live music and podcasts or gaming. For example, you can load only the effects for a dedicated song, or you can quickly load a dedicated routing setup. And you can now store snapshots directly on the Flow 8 unit, as well as on the app. So remember to install the new driver if you are a Windows user, the new app, and the new firmware, of course. So that's an overview of the latest update to Flow 8. Please don't forget to share your ideas and feedback down in the comment section, so that we can include them in the next one. See you in the next video. Ciao!